his eloquence. Really? He, con he controlled the room. Wherever he was, he controlled the room. Um, when he took the stand in the Sammy Stillwell trial, he took the stand and he completely controlled that room. The jury, the judge, the defense attorneys, the gallery. Everybody was fixated on Paul. He is eloquent, he has a commanding voice, and he has a commanding presence. I'd only I'd add two to that. You know, seeing him at the moment when he got arrested, when we lured him into Liberia um, on the charges out of the Southern District of New York, um, he was, you saw massive ego and complete confidence that he had everything locked down because he kept saying, I know about your investigation. I was talking about a different investigation. We knew because we were able to kind of, we were fortunate to be able to work very quickly and very behind the scenes that he didn't know about ours. But to watch him realize that he was no longer in control of corrupting the area where he lived, of having everyone on this payroll, and to now we had a, a situation where he was going to be charged, he was charged in the U.S., and he was going to be en route back to the U.S. to face those charges. You saw him begin to lose a little bit of that control, and that was fascinating. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. He, he was scared to death of going to New York. He, w he feared going to the Southern District. Um, but most people we arrest do. Why is that? Most aggressive prosecutors in the world, um, best prosecutors in the world, and work very closely with us. And we just kind of, for lack of a better term, we don't take anything off of anybody between us and the Southern District of New York, meaning 960. And we would fight whatever fight we had to, to bring a guy like Paul LaRue into the Southern District for trial.